Welcome back, lesson uh, uh, number six. Um, hello, Cragside Prime School. Um, here's a little um, little style, body percussion style that I learned when I did some work over in um, Sao Paulo, a really amazing music organization called Guri Santa Marcelina. A guy called Alessandro taught me this style of body percussion and um, it's predominantly used by a Brazilian body body music group called uh, Barba Tuque. Um, look them up, they do beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, so the basic style I'll show you, it's like, it's working, it's like a linear pattern, which means there's only one thing ever happening at a time. Uh, it's a, a style used on, on drum sets sometimes, and it's using eighth notes. So on each eighth note, um, so like, kiddy kiddy or ti 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 there's something happening and we use clicks as, as the like the ghost notes in between the rhythms and they sort of sound like hi-hats on a drum set so so it works really well so the the basis of the pattern goes like this It's just like a nice little samba thing. So I'll break it down for you. So number one, beat number one is chest. That's one. Click. And it's always going right, left, right, left. Um, even if you start with your left hand, it doesn't really make a, a difference because you're just phasing it slightly differently. But always right, left, right, left, right, left. So right, left. So that's one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then four. One, two, three, four. And that's the basic, that's like the basic style. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chest, click, click. And then I'm sort of accenting that one to give it that sort of sound there. The beautiful thing about this style is you can add some little vocal patterns over the top. So we do it. So that's the basic. Um, and then what you start to do is you just move around the placements of where the clicks are, where the chats are, but it's always going right left. So it could be if we've bring in the table. Um, normally I do this style standing up and you can bring in the legs up. So there you go. So now I'm going to teach you a little rhythm, a uh, rhythm called Bayal. Um, north, from the northeast of Brazil, um, and then I'm going to accompany it by a beautiful little nursery, uh, not a nursery, I'm a lullaby called Bayao Genina. Okay, so it's like Nina, meaning baby, put Brazilian Portuguese for baby, uh, Bayao is the rhythm, so it's like Bayao for, uh, for the baby. So the sa, so we've got one, the, I'll, I'll play it and then I'll teach it. Putting a sneaky clap if you're standing up, you could do a slap, but it's actually easier to get that clap in. Nice. 
note just finishes off up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a little click. The end. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's the bayou rhythm using that style of body percussion, and then um, and then we can add add the song bayou Janina. It's the bayou. You can symbol it if you just want to focus on the song, just take out the clicks. Some people call it Kanane Jibayao or Kanan, the Bayao Kanan. Um, and so it works, works as a round. So I'm going to record it again with a click and then we can layer it up and hear how it works as a, as a round. Is the Excuse my uh, uh, rubbish pronunciation. Last time I was over in, uh, in Brazil it was quite a while ago, so I've sort of lost a little bit. But you can see the words on the screen, and uh, I'm sure they appreciate that I'm sharing this with uh, some uh, British school children. So, peace, um, enjoy, um, have a great day. Mm -hmm.